What is your obvious, and I dare say some people would say, justified disdain for John Burko, rooted in his uh, alleged, par- I'll, I'll choose my words as carefully as possible, alleged partiality when it came to Brexit? Mm. Yes, I, I don't think you can actually distinguish the two things because what he did do quite a lot was pick on individual MPs. Now, MPs can stand up for themselves. And what was terrible was this was, this was staff, um, and certainly one of the staff who was not a senior person. Um, but he used to pick on members of parliament as well, and, and he'll publicly kind of denounce them. Uh, and, 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 of course, a lot of people then would sort of laugh, but it was really particularly horrible for the individual member of parliament. But he did show his bias right through uh, the whole debate after we had left the European Union. And I blame him, actually. I genuinely blame him for, I mean, all your viewers will remember those two or three years of just chaos and absolute, um, you know, the scenes in Parliament when we were going through a lot of the discussions about the EU. So much of it was led by him because he would disagree with the rulings of his own clerks and put to debate uh, amendments that should not have been debated in any natural, normal uh, way that was going to be not biased. And he showed his bias. I mean, he was clearly very, very angry that we'd left the European Union. But, you know, a speaker has to be independent and impartial. And I gave him the benefit of the doubt at the beginning. I remember actually saying, well, you know, I know he's a very strong remainer, but I'm sure he'll be, he'll be OK. And actually, very shortly, we saw that that wasn't happening. And he would just do anything he could to have stopped um, Parliament supporting and, and eventually leaving yeah. the European Union. So, yes, I do, I do hold that against him. But I think he also is responsible for really bringing the whole House of Commons into disrepute. Well, it's interesting. We've got a Twitter poll running at the moment.